Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about the autonomic nervous system. It is called autonomic because it has some automatic activities. Without our interference or consciousness, it can control the function of multiple organs in the body, like the heart rate, the digestion, the respiratory rate, and the pupillary reflexes. It mainly has three main branches, the sympathetic system, the parasympathetic, and the enteric system. The sympathetic system emerges from the spinal cord at the thoracic and lumbar area, ending around L2, so in the middle of the spine, while the parasympathetic system emerges from the cervical area or the cranium and the lower sacral area, so the upper and lower part of the spinal cord. The autonomic nervous system is unique because it has a ganglion, which is a two-way neuron to any command. In other words, for the sympathetic system to affect any organ in the body, the signal has to pass two neurons, and the area where these two neurons meet is known as the ganglion. Generally speaking, when one system is activated, it will dominate the effects. So you will either have full or almost full control by the sympathetic system or the parasympathetic system. Activation of the sympathetic system promotes the fight or flight response. And this corresponds with energy and arousal. And so the blood will be diverted away from the GI tract into the skin. And the blood will go more into the muscles and into the lungs. In fact, it will increase the blood flow to the lungs and the muscles almost a thousand times over. The bronchioles in the lungs will also dilate, allowing more air to go into the lungs. And it goes without saying that the heart will also contract more, and each contraction will be much stronger. The pupils will dilate, allowing us to have a wide range of vision, and it will also stimulate the sweat glands so that heat can be expelled easily. To memorize the functions of the sympathetic system, think of somebody who's running away from a lion. When you're running scared for your life, you will need to be on high alert. And you will also need your body to function as strongly as possible. So you need the heart pumping, the eyes dilated, the bronchi also dilated, and the skin sweating. The parasympathetic system is the opposite. It promotes the rest and digest response. Once activated, it will dilate the blood vessels going into the GI tract, allowing more blood flow to the stomach and the intestine. It will constrict the pupils, promote the salivary gland secretions, accelerate the peristasis of the GI tract, and promote sexual arousal. And that's all I have about the autonomic nervous system. Thank you so much for watching.